What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I bring you some good, some bad, or all good, or all bad, or one order out of these is good. So, this is your chance to select which one of these waters is good and you need to choose one. And at the end of this video, you will understand which one is good, which one is bad. And at the very, at the very, very end, I will show you the waters. If you want to replace some waters, I will show you the choice of my, uh, my choice of a water that I use uh, on vehicles that I do recommend compared to other boxes, uh, other waters. It's all, it's, it's a matter of us, they call it a white box, that's why I said a box. But anyways, I made a big, big mistake on a customer's vehicle. This came off a of Ford, this came off a of Ford 2018 Explorer. And customer said it was good, I looked at it, yes, they're good. No problem, we'll smack the brake pass on, brake pass, slap, slap, brake pad, whatever you want to call it. So, right now, choose a water. Even though I gave you a little bit of hint, this is the, not the section you want to be in. Anyways, let's talk about these waters, okay? So first of all, sometimes I put brake pads on waters that are kind of a little rusted on the edges here, which is not a big deal. Some customers, they don't have money, they're complaining and they're not working. Anyways, same thing here. It's discolored, discolored. Should have been fine for me to put rotors on it and I break pads on it and I did do that and it ran good, no problem. We're gonna come across another one here. This one came off a Toyota. Looks really good. Check out that light shining on this baby, okay? Just pay attention, okay? Because in a moment, you're gonna see something different. And over here, we got this little guy. Look at this little guy. It's thinner than a quarter. And it has a big groove and it's cut on both sides. Customer asked me to put brake pad on this guy. You know what I said to him? I'm sorry, I don't want to kill you. So if you guys selected one of these, okay, no good. Put that baby back. Okay? So, is it gonna be rotor A, B, C, or D of your choice? This guy look really good. This guy look really, really good. I love this rotor. No problem putting brake pads on this. But, if we turn C round, check out the reflection of that light, okay? Check out that. It has small little dings. Ding, 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 ding. I'm gonna bring this close to the camera so you guys can see it. It has small little dings. Okay, you see that? Those little marks right there. There's one over here. There, there's, there, there's small little marking all around this water. It's all over this water. So what's happening here is, first of all, this water is nice and thick. This water is nice and thick. I like that. It's nice and thick. It wasn't even worn out that much. But the customer drove a too far on a brake pad, do have a small cut. But the worst of it all, this water made the car shake on high speed. Those signs right there are warped. It's pretty warped on each little spot, okay? Coming back from C, you already seen D, we're gonna come back to B. B, oh my God. Disaster, okay? Disaster. Check that out. It's completely rusted out. Completely rusted out. This is the part in the back. You don't see this. There's a plate in the back. You do not see this little guy. Anyways, these, both of these, rotor A and B, came off a Ford Explorer. Same thing, same. American cars, known for corrosion, rust. Even the rotor is nice and thick, but this these things get corroded very easy. Anyway guys, hopefully you like this video, just to demonstrate rotor. So if you selected A, if you selected B, if you selected C, if you selected D, you're wrong. All of these rotors are shot. 
best thing to do is next time you get your brake job done, replace the rotors with it. If you replace the rotors and you only drove about 10, 15,000 miles on it, maybe, maybe give it another pad, brake pass lap. After that, get rid of it. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video uh, gave you guys a little bit of information, a little bit of a hope, a little bit of a courage to check out your rotors. And uh, now I'm going to show you if you do want to get new rotors, this is something what you want to look at. What I want to do is I want to make a little bit of room over here. I want to clear up. This little guy, oops, the water I'm about to bring out, it's something great, okay, you probably seen this on my channel, this is what I use, premium electrochromatic brake waters, okay, if you can find this guy, if you can find these guys, this is good stuff, I'm going to show you guys, this is for a Honda Accord, okay, so this is what we're looking at, okay, this is the brand, okay, I want to show you these waters. I want to pop this box open. Let's open this box up, okay? Comes in a nice blue bag. But check out this water. This water is electric coated paint on it. So this thing is very good, okay? And they do give me good warranty on these. Check these out. Okay, this is what I use on all of my Hondas. I try to recommend these. I even did this on Ford. I don't record it because I was on a video conference, but this is it. This is what you want to get, guys. Uh, good water. This compared to like a white box water, a pronto water, it's going to be the, probably a $20 difference per water. So you'd rather pick uh, one of the good waters and uh, give your car a little hope and uh, do use lubrication clean, thoroughly, so nice and good job is done and make sure the surface where the water goes on to. Is nice and clean and flush so the water can sit nice and straight so you don't have wobbly. So upcoming videos we will talk about um, brake friction, we will talk about uh, car vibration, press the brake pad, the car vibrates, shakes and uh, due to bad waters, due to a bad job, it could be a brand new brand spectrum water and the car still shakes. It could be something that you didn't do properly throughout the brake service or the uh, brake service job. Anyways guys, Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully, uh, you guys stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And see you guys in the next one. Cha-ching.